All right, sixth graders. So the big thing that we need to work on today is being absolutely ready to paint next week. So that's kind of a two-part thing. Number one, I need you to make sure that your color wheels are finished. Those should be all the way done. Um, we'll get them all handed back to you. You can look them over, make sure all your colored pencil parts are done. Um, make sure that your painting is all done. If for some reason your painting isn't finished, you need to finish that today. Now, I'm not there to have one or two trays out, so you're going to have to get out your paint. Now, it doesn't take very much, just a couple little dots of paint is all it's going to take on the tray. And after you're done, instead of just throwing away the magazine, you actually have to wash the paint tray because you're the only one using it. So you can get out a paint tray, you can put a couple colors on it that you need, paint your color wheel, and then you have to wash it and you have to wash up your paintbrush. I don't want to come back to school on Wednesday and find a big paint mess because that will not make me be very excited for painting next week with you guys. Okay, so you have your paint color wheel all done. Now we want to get our drawing completely ready to go. When we walk in the door next Tuesday, we want to be able to draw paint. With that. We don't want to have to have people drawing. We just want to be able to paint. So a couple things. Remember number one, when we talk about drawing things, that left side of our brain doesn't really know how to draw. The right side of our brain does. The left side of our brain is the side of our brain that likes to talk. So I'm going to ask you guys to work super duper quiet today, not because I'm being mean, but because I really want you to be able to focus on what it is that you're doing. So remember, you should have your animal picked out. If you don't, there's a couple on the back table and you have to just pick from the ones that are back there. But once you have your animal picked out, you're gonna get your piece of plastic and you lay that piece of plastic right on top of your animal. When you have it on there, you use those Expo markers and you draw out the shapes, only the shapes, circles and squares and triangles. Don't try to draw the outline of the cow because that's not the shape. It's gonna be just those shapes. So here I have my cow already traced out. If I take it and I flip it to the back side, you can see all my different shapes. I kind of have like a little teardrop shape. I have some ovals. I have a square. I have another oval. I have some rectangles that go into triangles. So all of those shapes. I'm not worried about outlining the cow. I'm worried about drawing those shapes because remember, the left side of my brain likes to draw shapes because they're easy. Once I have that done, I'm gonna get my final copy paper. You only get one piece of final copy paper. It has two sides, but you only get one piece. So make sure that you draw nice and light because you don't want those dark, dark lines messing you up when you get to the next step. Once you have that done, you're gonna draw out your shapes. So you can see, like here I kind of have some of those shapes that I started to draw and they're pretty light because I just very, very lightly drew them out. Then in some areas you can see where I've started to go back over darker and I've put in like the details of the ear and the details of the eye because I'm starting to make that final copy. So after I get all my shapes drawn, then I can go wash this off and put it back in the container and I'm gonna go just to my photograph. And once I have my photograph, then I can start to look at the details on the ear the shape of the eye. How does that actual face shape look around there? Where does the body go? All of those things. When you draw it out, the other thing you wanna think about is use up all of your paper. When you get ready to look at your picture, like on mine, my cow's going off the edge. That's totally fine. He can go off the edge. That's way better than a little tiny cow floating right here in the middle because you're gonna be painting these. And when you're painting with a paintbrush, trying to get into those little teeny tiny spots is really, really tough. So you want to make sure that you draw them nice and big so you have plenty of space to paint and get all those details in there. So, again, by the end of class, color wheels should be finished up. Animals should be drawn out completely. And don't forget to think about background. It could be as simple as a horizon line where you say this is the sky and this is the ground. Or it could be, you know what, I want my cow to be in a field of grass and so you draw some grass in there. It's up to you how you're gonna do this. But again, I want them completely drawn out and ready to go so that next week when we walk in the door we can all start painting our animals because you only have two class periods to get all of your painting done. 
If you were to happen to get all of that work done, then you can go on and do a free draw. But again, best effort. If you need to have a friend check it out and say, hey, how's this looking? What are some suggestions that you have for me? Go for it. But again, quiet, working, animals drawn out, color wheel ready to go. Okay? Thanks, and I'll see you guys on a week from today.